hello, hello. It is Dr. Naisha Cherry, your fitness instructor here for our 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest workout. We will have five exercises that we're going to do. The first exercise will be burpees. When you do your burpee, you want to make sure that you come all the way down to the ground, plant your hands, step or hop back, come down gently, bring your chest to the ground, come back up, step or hop back in. So that's a step and you can hop. Either way is fine. Our second exercise will be to hold a plank for 45 seconds. When you hold your plank, wrist beneath shoulders, hips in line with shoulders and ankles. Engage your core. Press the mat away from you to separate your shoulder blades. You will hold here. Feel free to take a quick knee drop if need be and come right back into your plank. Our third exercise will be a squat with a calf raise. So squat back and down with your hips. Come back up, come onto your toes. Back down, up, come onto your toes. Our next exercise will be a hollow hold. With a hollow hold, you come to lines on your back. You want to make sure that the lower part of your back is connected to your mat at all times. You can come here with knees bent, arms reaching forward. You can decide to press one leg out or the other or both. You can do a complete full expression with arms overhead as well. Either way, you want to keep your lower back pressed to your mat. And last but not least, we will have reverse lunges with a knee lift and balance. So you will step back, big step back, bring your knee to your mat. You want to make sure that your knee that's bent is not over your toes. You come back up, knee to hip, and hold for a second. Then the other side. Go back, down, come back up, raise for a second, and down. Same thing. So this is what the reverse launch with a knee lift and balance looks like for 45 seconds. So those are our exercises. Burpees, plank, squat with a calf raise, hollow hold, and reverse launch with a knee lift and balance. Keep in mind, you have options if you need to take the intensity down or up. All right, so let's begin. First rest exercise are burpees. We run 10 second countdown. Get ready on your mat. Remember you can step or hop back. Here we go. Twenty more seconds. You got this. Keep it up. Five seconds left. Finish strong. All right. Fifteen second break. We're moving into holding a plank. So come down to your mat. Three, two, one. Hold your plank. Remember your other option is to come down onto your forearms and hold here. Wherever you are, make sure your hips are down in line. Twenty-five seconds. Last 15. All right, 15 second break. Now we have our squat with a calf raise. Remember to press your hips back and down. And as you come up, squeeze up. Here we go, down and up.
squat as low as you can. Come up, squeeze. Come up on your toes. Hold it up, strengthen those ankles. Ten seconds left. That's five. Three. And rest. Next, we will have hollow hold. So come on your back. Knees in towards your chest, or you can choose to straighten one leg or the other or both. Keep your lower back pressed down into your mat. Twenty seconds. That's ten. Keep holding. You got it. Lower now. Now we have. Our reverse lunges with a knee balance, alternating sides. Here we go, down the back. Lift, balance, next side. Ooh. Lift, balance. seconds left. Last five seconds. All right, take a break. We have burpees coming up. So get your energy up. Let's get ready. Down and up, here we go. <laughs> Last twenty seconds. Ten. All right, 15 second break. Next we will hold plank. Three seconds. And here we go. Come to your plank and hold. Breathe. Engage your core, drop your hips down in line, stack your shoulders over your elbows. Separate your shoulder blades. Twenty seconds left. Last ten. And knees touch ground. 15 second recovery. Take a water break if you need. We are moving into calf squats with a calf raise. In three, two, one. Here we go.
Last five seconds. All right. Next, we will move into our hollow hold. Come on your back. Remember your options. Start in three, two, one. Here we go. Twenty seconds remaining. Last five seconds. All right, come up. Let's get ready for our reverse lunge with our knee lift balance. In three, two, and one. Take it as slow as you need to get that balance and to stabilize through your ankle and your knee. After this, we have one more round. So push through, you got it. Last 20 seconds of this. I'm sweating. How about you? Hopefully you are. Give me a thumbs up. And the end. All right, so last round starting with burpees. Let's get ready to begin. Less than Seven seconds remaining. Here we go. It's just 45 seconds. You can do it. Last 20 seconds. Last 10 seconds. All right. Last time through plank. Let's get ready. Five seconds. Here we go. Air it up. Get your good form in. Remember, form is everything. So if you need to take a break because your form is suffering, then do so. Twenty seconds. Ten more. All right. We have squat with our calf raises. Starting in three, two, and one. Get as low as you can in your squat. Get as high as you can with your calf raise. Strengthen those knees and ankles. Work those hamstrings and those glutes. You got it. Twenty seconds. All right, 
15 second break. We have our last hollow hold. Maybe you want to challenge yourself on this one by extending both legs and arms. It's up to you. Just get ready. Maybe you want to play around. Get your head a little bit. That spine too. Last 20 seconds. Ten seconds. I'm shaking. How about you? All right. One last exercise. Reverse lunge with knee lift and balance. Let's get ready. Finish strong. You got this. Here we go. Working your balance here. It's always good to work on your balance because that's something that we lose the older we get. So we want to work on it and keep it in good standing. Almost done. Five seconds left. Last one. The end. All right, good job, good job. Let's get ready to do some stretches here. A little shoulder stretch. Bring your right arm across your body. Pull it in with your left arm. Feel that stretch in your shoulders and those burpees and planks. To the other side. And release. Let's do a calf stretch from those calf raises. Step your right foot about a foot in front of you. Lift your toes up. Reach down with your left hand. Grab those toes. Or as close as you can get. Relax your head and neck. Gently rise up. And then let's do the other side. Step your left foot out about a foot. Lift those toes up. Hand at your hip. Reach down with your right hand. Allow your head and neck to relax. All right. Come up gently. Let's get a quad stretch in here. Feel free to come to a wall to grab for balance. Bend your left knee, grab your left foot, pull it in towards your glutes. Knees come back together. You can reach your arm out to the side if you don't want to hold on to the wall or a chair. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Gently release, and let's grab the other foot, pull it in towards your glutes, close your knees back together. Once again, grab for a wall or chair or reach your arm out for balance if need be. Gently release. All right, come to the back of your mat. Walk your hands out to a plank. Now step your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Drop your left knee down and feel this stretch. Turn to the palm. Feel free to twist open through your chest. Catch your palm. Turn your left knee back. And step your right foot back. 
to high plank. And let's put this on the opposite side. Bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Drop your right knee. Feel free to reach up and stretch. Opening up your chest as you stretch out your hips. back, take your left foot back, come down to your knees, bring your knees out wide, get toes together, put your hips back and down, reach your arms long in front of you, bring your forehead to your mat for a child's pose. Stretch out your shoulders and your back round of your body. When you come back up to tabletop, press back to a downward facing dog. Feel this stretch along the back side of your legs, your hamstrings. And walk your hands in towards your feet. Allow your head to hang heavy. Take a slight bend in your knees as you allow the stretching to continue along the back side of your body. Maybe sway. From side to side. Come back to stillness. Take a slight bend in your knees and gently roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time so that you don't get dizzy. And once you're up to the top, roll your shoulders up and back. And that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this quick workout. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. I would greatly appreciate that. Feel free to give me any comments you had. If you felt the burn, if you were sweating like I am, if you enjoyed the workout, just let me know. And also let me know what you would like to see in further workouts. I would love to cater to your needs. All right, let's have a blessed day. Bye.